advanced hydrogen, <clears throat> popping some bubbles. Um, I've got my flat cell running at about 16 amps, uh, about 12, 13 volts. Not really much output. See it? And I have a torch. Uh, and kids don't try this at home. Notice the metal container and my reservoir has a rubber blast cap. Don't ever do this with a glass container. I'm going to light the bubble. Don't you just see the orange flashes that happen when I light this thing right above the uh, can? And uh, I'm just, this kind of a pointless video I figured I'd put out just so people could see what, um, oh, I don't know. This is probably about, I'm going to guess and say one and a half to two liters a minute around there. It's got to be at least that. Okay, let's say one and a half because it's 13 amps. It's got to be about one and a half liters. Um, really not much output let's try it let me get back because i don't get my camera wet i'm going to pull it up kind of high near my face here and i do have safety glasses on believe it or not all right here we go yep, torch went out hand that happens the torch gets wet Angles here. There you go. Like I guess I don't try this at home. I figured I'd. The orange flashes that happen above it. Pretty wild, huh? Like I said, if you're going to try this, you need to do it in a metal container. Make sure your reservoir has a rubber top on it so something happens at top of blast off. And that was a dry cell. And I haven't fully flame tested or flash tested a dry cell, but others have. EBN, my understanding is they hit one of these a lot and it didn't blow up. Mine's all metal construction. I'm not really too worried about it. And there you go, advanced hydrogen. Have a good day.